So now let's go over how we're going to do the procedure together. Uh, there are multiple, obviously, multiple editions, multiple equipments, different uh, varieties of co-pilots, guides. But as we had uh, said before, six French is what we recommend, and it's most favorable. You can use five French, you can use more than six French also. So we have a six French sheet, we have a six French guide, um, your setup is done, your co-pilot is attached, uh, and now you're ready to, um, to perform your, uh, your procedure. First, you need to go in with the guide and you have to make sure that your aortic waveform is not dampening and uh, there's no ventricularization. That means there's no osteolesions, there's no spasm that you induced with, uh, with your guide. Once that's done, it's now probably a good time to give nitroglycerin um, before we introduce our wire. So I want to do a microvascular dysfunction testing now. I'm just demonstrating using pressure wire X. No acetylcholine for this demonstration. So I'm ready. Guide is in. My pressure waveform is, um, is what I like it to be. Um, I, I'm, I'm now ready. I give some nitro, flush it, relieve some of the epicardial um, um, uh, spasm if there's any, and now I'm ready to introduce my wire. As you all know, that there is an important step here um, in flushing the wire. You cannot do anything except you flush. And most of us um, physicians, and I see my fellows, nobody looks at this uh, diagram. The diagram is very, um, very simple. All it's telling you, please flush. Uh, so, and then once you flush, you connect. And once you connect, you turn on. Um, don't skip steps. Don't go from one to three or two to one and then make, make um, uh, troubleshooting even harder. So number one, flush. Be very generous with flush. So I'm flushing my wire in, in the loop. Now we activated the um, crystals and now we're ready. Uh, we removed any microembolus, any, any, uh, any air, um, micro bubbles I, I meant, I'm sorry. And then um, the wire is now ready. Once the wire is ready, Take it over the packaging, leave it there, and now it's time to zero AO. To zero AO, assist or manifold. Everyone should um, in the lab should be comfortable with this. I just opened to air. Now the transducer knows I'm zeroing AO. You can help your physicians by clicking zero AO, and we clicked on zero AO here. And once the AO is zero, you open it, and your waveform is still perfect. It's now time to connect pressure wire. Number one was to do what? Number one was to flush. Number two is to connect. Click on connect. Click on connect, and now it's time for me to go to number three, which is sliding this forward, and now pressure wire X is connected. The screen will now prompt you to equalize. Is this a good time to equalize? Uh, absolutely not. You need to equalize at a spot where you're trying to teach the sensor, the pressure sensor on the wire, what a PA pressure waveform should look like. And the most ideal place is in the aorta. Aortic pressure has been um, zeroed. Nitroglycerin has been given. Um, it's time for us now to, uh, to uh, introduce the wire. And we have the wire all the way um, into the guide and just exited the guide. And um, at that time, it's very good now to, um, to um, equalize. Um, with, with equalization, as, as a reminder, make sure there is nothing, um, no contrast in the guide. And also, if you use the wire introducer and a torquer to, um, to go in with the wire, it's now a good time to bring back your, um, your torquer back and bring your um, introducer also out because introducer, wire introducer through the co-pilot drops the PA by three to four points because they are connecting to the um, atmospheric pressure. So they tends to bring the uh, aortic pressure down. For that reason, I took my introducer out, my torquer is all the way back, tightened my co-pilot, and now I'm ready to equalize. And it's a simple press of a button. So now we're going to equalize to make sure that the wire knows that this is how the PA pressure waveform will look like. And the way we equalize, I go to P FFR, PD over PA, and the PD over PA should be 1. Once I'm done with this, I switch to RFR. And when I go to RFR, you will see that the monitor is changing, the screen is changing, uh, until you um, uh, build back up to um, one O. Usually you might find discrepancy, a slight discrepancy by one or two points between PD over P and RFR, and this is just because of how uh, RFR is being uh, calculated using the software. So now I have a value of 0 0.99 RFR mode, I'm ready to advance my wire to the distal two-thirds of the LED, or at least six centimeter away from, um, uh, away from the um, um, guide um, uh, ostia.
And I get asked all the time, do you need um, assist? Do you need a power injector? Uh, or you have to switch into manifold? Can I do it with manifold? Of course you can. And it's probably in, in many institutions, manifold is easier uh, because it'll give you a long set of stopcocks. So you don't need to add much to it. You just need your 3cc syringe to be attached to one of the stopcocks open, inject, close, and you're back to normal. Uh, you don't need to flush, you don't need to do anything. So manifold is doable, um, power injectors are doable or assist, um, uh, but do you need to recommend to your physicians because you're doing microvascular, you need to switch your practice? You absolutely don't have to, and I'll demonstrate to you how it could be done.